In other news, a man who is hard of hearing says he tried to communicate with Bell Alliant to solve an internet and TV problem. He says he was unable to communicate independently with the provider and is urging the company to improve its accessibility services. Here and now is Jessica Singer has that story. At the latest dinner management. Living alone gave Adam King Duke a sense of newfound confidence. He was independent for a few years, but then he had trouble with his TV and internet services. He tried to talk to Bell Alliant. That's when his trouble started. King Duke says Bell Alliant doesn't offer a live chat option in the four Atlantic provinces for those wanting to receive technical support for internet or five TV. He says Bell customer service kept redirecting him to a phone call, but he's hard of hearing. A phone is not an option. But it's 2023. Everything technology. Technology is there. It's available. It's ready. Why not take advantage of it and use it? After CBC contacted Bell, the company says it has been in touch with King Duke. In a statement, the company said, We have brought his concern forward and will take them to Bell's Accessibility Program Steering Committee so we can look to enhance our services available to customers with disabilities in Atlantic Canada requiring technical support. Miles Murphy is the executive director of the Newfoundland and Labrador Association of the Deaf. He says Bell can learn from King Duke's story. He spoke through a sign language interpreter. Really the, uh, uh, the lack of uh, service from Bell, you know, the, uh, his access uh, just wasn't what it should have been. And that is a concern for us very much so. Uh, deaf people always want to uh, communicate and the live chat feature would be something that would be perfect for us. King Duke's back and forth with Bell Alliance went on for weeks. Without internet, living on his own became a challenge. Demoralized, he questioned his ability to navigate the world alone. So he moved back in with his mom. Right now, I feel like it took away my freedom. It took away my independence with them. And I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't believe it that I have to suffer through this and have to live with my mom. It, it's awkward to have to know you live with the parent and can't live on your own and not have to worry about, you have to rely on someone to support you. King Duke says he's pleased Bell Alliance finally paid attention, but that it shouldn't have taken this long. He isn't sure when he'll move out again. When he does, he hopes the company has learned how to communicate with the deaf community. Jessica Singer, CBC News, St. John's.